Hey everyone, this is Kate Schwenke and I have a requested packing video for you guys today. This is the Jujube Be Prepared in Frosted Blossoms and I have it packed up for vacation, so an overnight bag for myself. Um, I really, really like packing the Jujube Be Prepared this way. I have done it probably about four times now and I have not regretted it any time that I've used it. I really, really like it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the outside features of the bag and then I'm going to get into the packing portion of the video. So on the outside here, there is a large mommy pocket. This is the largest mommy pocket on all of the diaper bags that Jujubee makes. It's a really awesome one. You'll see just how awesome that is when I show you guys what's in there. Um, right behind that pocket there, there is a slip pocket with a snap closure in the middle here. And it goes all the way down to the very bottom of the mommy pocket at the bottom of the bag there. It's really nice and deep. On the sides, there is insulated bottle pockets on each side with magnetic closures. And if you see just how gorgeous that color is. So on the very back, there is a very large slip pocket. And this pocket has a snap closure here, and it's actually the pocket that has the change pad with it. Um, I do not pack this bag with the change pad because, like I said, I'm not using it as a diaper bag here. I'm using it as an overnight bag, and I don't need that for myself. <laughs> so on the other side here, there's one more bottle pocket. And also there's a D-ring on each side, these nice heavy-duty ones. So if you want to wear this bag crossbody, it works really great that way. So I'm going to go ahead and get on to the inside. The very first part I'm going to do is, um, I guess I'll do the bottle pockets first. So on this side here, I just have my messenger strap, just in case I need to use it with this bag. That's all I had in there. On the other side, in here, I have a bottle of ibuprofen for myself. I get headaches on vacation, unfortunately. And I, like I said, I don't have anything in the slip pocket back here for the change pad or this pocket in between the very front here um, and the mommy pocket. So on to the next part here is the very, very front of the mommy pocket. In here, you can just see how big that is. It's amazing. Um, on the inside here, I have in the sunglass holder here, just some toiletry items. I have some lotion, mouthwash, and some shampoo and conditioner. And if you can't tell, these are from a hotel, but these bottles work really great. You can fill them up with your own stuff too, so that's awesome. Um, under that, there is a mesh pocket on each side, as you can see here. In this pocket here, I have a shower cap. And next to that over here, I have a thing of lotion. This is that awesome little snarky stuff by Posh. It's so great. Right above that in this pocket here, there's a little zip mesh pocket here. In here I just have some sanitary items for ladies, just in case. It seems like whenever I'm on vacation, that's when my period decides to start, so that's what I've got here. In this pocket here I have a soap container with some soap in it. And that fit really great in this pocket. I really like this pocket for that because it's got like a uh, waterproof lining. So if I put a soap dish in there, it wouldn't even matter. So that's the very front. Everything else is on the inside of the bag. So this is the top of the bag. And you see you have these really nice tote straps. And to access the top, you just move those right out of the way. You have a double zipper here, and this kind of opens up the same way the Starlet does on the top, but then it also goes all the way down the side, on both sides. Opens huge. I love that about the Be Prepared. Look how much space you have. That's pretty awesome. So I'm going to show you guys, first of all, what I have in the side pockets on both sides and on these sides. There's so much organization in here. It's awesome. Um, there's also a back pocket here behind these two mesh pockets, but I don't use it for anything most of the time. Don't need to. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go through this first. This is my makeup bag. It's just a Vera Bradley one. In here I just have all of my makeup necessities. Um, this is just, you know, the bare necessities for when I'm on vacation. I don't really like to wear makeup to begin with, so just the minimal amount on vacation for sure. So, and this is about the size of a large set piece, I'd say, maybe a little smaller, 
this fit perfectly in there, I think you could totally fit a large set piece in there from the new collections. Right next to that, there's a smaller pocket over here. And I have some deodorant, some Q-tips, some toothpaste, and some floss. Now on the other side here, these pockets are identical to the ones over here. So on the larger one here, I have five pairs of underwear. I just had them lined up like this. They fit great in there. I also have four pairs of socks. These are all ankle socks because it's summertime. So those fit perfectly in there. Right next to that in the smaller pocket, I have my little glove for my hair straightener. And then I also had my little argan oil that was wrapped up in it, just in case it decides to leak or something. So on the sides over here, I have my hairbrush. And this was faced this way because these are mesh pockets. If you have this faced that way, these are all going to poke through the holes, and I didn't want to do that. This works great if you have it facing the satin. Right next to that, I have my toothbrush in a travel case. I think that's it on that side. On this side here, I just have my hair straightener. It's in one of those thermal cases. I think that's what it's called. Um, just kind of keeps, you can put it in there when it's hot. So it's pretty cool. But this fit really great in there. If you know how large these are, um, that gives you an idea that you can fit one of these in there. So. The reason why I don't have a blow dryer in here is because I never blow dry my hair. Um, like right before bed, I, that's when I normally take a shower and I just sleep with my hair wet, so I only need that. <laughs> and okay, the rest of everything is just clothes. I don't think I have anything else in there. Nope. So everything else is just clothes. On this side, I kind of have it divided. This side is all like pants and things. This side is all tops. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this side first. I have a belt on top here for some of my pants. I have my jammies on top here. I have a shirt, some shorts, and some pants. Under that I have two pairs of shorts. One, two. And under that I have two pairs of pants. So all that fit fantastic in there. So you can see that I'm coming down to the bottom here. This is a huge bag, seriously, but it works so great this way. I love it. So I have a swimsuit. This is a monokini, and that fits right there. Right under that, I have a swimsuit cover-up. And I have some shirts. I have a long sleeve shirt, and one, two, three short sleeve shirts, so four shirts all together. And under that, I have my sweater. So just in case it gets a little cool out. Um, so yeah, perfect. Love this bag. Makes me want to go on vacation again. All right, so that's the Be Prepared packed up for me as a travel bag, overnight bag. But I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you're looking to use this bag this way, I highly suggest it. I have never used this bag as a diaper bag, only as a travel bag. Um, or overnight bag, and it's amazing. So, yep, highly suggest it. <laughs> Thanks for watching.